Hello and welcome to another UIP tutorial. This is Osan. In this UIP tutorial, I am going to show you how to use data scraping in UIP. And for this tutorial, I am going to use UIP Marketplace website, which basically we are going to read our categories from Excel file and we are going to search against in this website and we are going to get the list of activities written in this categories so let's get back to studio so first of all we need to read the excel file let's get back to activities pan and type read range i am going to use the workbook activity here and let me select my excel file and the sheet name is listing let me type it here okay and the range will be nothing and let me define the data table jtlk my data table okay and then i am going to get the all the categories then i am going to iterate these categories so i will need for each row activity okay so I'm gonna iterate this my data table, my data table, which contains the categories that are in my Excel file. So I'm gonna iterate this and one by one, I'm going to get the name of the category and then I'm going to write it to the web page. So let me get a sign and here I will get category name from the current row let me open it and current row item header is category so column name is category i will type category to string so that's my category name and after that i need to use type into to be able to type that data and make the search so type into here let me indicate on screen here and i will type category name and after that i'm gonna send the uh, enter i think it will work let's try and if i send enter it will search yeah so i can send enter with send hotkey or i can simply add the enter key here like this so we have add enter key here and after that i am going to get the data and write it to the excel file uh, this excel file so i will need data scraping here so let me click data scraping and okay first of all i am going to make the search then now first of all i am going to get the name of the activity then i will click next i need to create a pattern here so i am going to select this one also and i will type name okay next i will click extract correlated data because i want to get other stuff from the web page so let me click this one and i'm gonna get the owner of the activity okay let me type owner and click next and then i will get the description so i'm going to click here and again i need to create a pattern so indicate the similar field which is this one and this is the description and okay and we will get the name owner description maybe we can add also this tag here let me click that one ready to go automation let's type category and as you see we also get the category here and i will click finish and then it will ask me to if there is any next button i will click yes and after that i am going to identify 
the next button here okay and I have basically finished my data scraping after making data scraping I need to get this data so let me click variable and I am going to make the scope web scraping because this is the main flow here then I will simply write this data to this Excel file so here I am going to use write range activity okay and I will use again workbook and the workbook will, will be the same this one sheet name will be category name and data table extract data table and I will add headers so basically we will iterate this data table and we will get the category name and we will search for that category name and after that we will make the data scraping one thing that I didn't mention is that we need to open the browser first so I will need open browser activity so let me type open browser here and let me get it here I am going to open a marketplace website so let me get this one okay and I am going to open it in edge browser and I will need to get these for each the inside of this open browser because I will open the browser just one time and after that I will iterate this data table and use data scraping with attach browser here another thing that I need to add this flow is that we need to get back to home page because we will make those searches in the home page so we will need to get back to this place and then we need to make those searches so for this I will use navigate activity and then after using right range activity I need to get back to home page let me copy it and paste it here okay let's take a look at our uh, workflow here uh, we will read the excel file we will iterate the data table that we read from the excel file and after that we will get the category name we will type that category name we will make that data scraping web scraping and after that we will write that data to the excel file and after that we will get back to home page which is marketplace uipad.com so let me click run It finished working let's check our output excel file which is this one so for pdf we have lease activities and owner description and category and the mail we have those activities and excel OCR and browser we have get all the activities under this category name successfully we have basically created dynamic web scraping workflow 
and we get our category names from listing sheet and after getting the category we made the search on the marketplace website one by one and after each data scraping we write those data into excel file and i think that will be all for this tutorial thank you for watching hopefully it will be helpful for you and if you find this video helpful please subscribe to my channel or leave your comments down below and hope to see you in next video bye for now